Hopefully it won't be so wet. Yes, exactly. we know it will be tomorrow. Yep, right. Still on Christmas Eve. Still on Christmas Eve. Still on Christmas Day, mm. and then possibly on and off next week, Pat. So it just goes on and, and on, on. and yeah. on. Just like that Energizer bunny. Exactly right. Go on and on. I don't know. We're, <laughs> we're trying to turn every every sort of weather situation into a song. It, it just because it's you know, the season. It is the season. We're trying to be cheerful. We're trying to be cheerful. It's it's raining and we need it. It's Christmas Eve tomorrow. It's Correct. the eve of Christmas Eve. <laughs> and we're almost at Christmas Day and we're getting a little more rain on Christmas Day. So hopefully it won't affect Santa and you know what he's got to do. Oh, you know, he's got it, he's got it down, he's right? Got, yeah, those he, reindeers, they are weatherproof. They're weatherproof. They're good. Yeah, they're <laughs> so good. And you know, especially he lives in the North Pole. He gets so much snow. So this is nothing for him. Nah. Nothing. <laughs> you know, really nothing. But but you ain't seen nothing yet because it's going to snow a little more. So, you know, we, we got some weather to, to show for here in Southern California over the coming days. Satellite radar right now showing you quite a bit uh, lighting up in green and yellow and even a little bit of snow coming through in the pink and purple on your screen. You're looking at heavier rain as you make your way into Wrightwood, Crestline, Rancho Cucamonga, Sierra Madre. So, of course, our mountain and foothill communities getting hit with the heavier rain tonight. As promised, heavy rain along the 18 as you make your way through Running Springs from Lake Arrowhead into Big Bear. You're going to go from rain to snow. Snow is starting to get closer to resort level in Big Bear now. Most of the snow will start to fall overnight through the early morning hours. Snow levels will start to drop. We're also keeping our eyes on Orange County tonight because, of course, we are concerned about the bonfire burn area and flood concerns posted. In fact, we've got flood advisories uh, for most of Southern California tonight. Burn area is a big concern and, of course, wind a concern as well. We could see wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour and and we could see between two to six inches of rain in our coastal communities by well, more our mountain coastal communities, foothill communities and mountain communities. Now, satellite and radar tracker showing you the heaviest rain coming through by tomorrow night by Friday early morning. Uh, we're really going to start to see tomorrow morning rather late tonight into tomorrow morning. We're going to start to see the heavier rain. I want to point out the red on your screen. That is a thunderstorm cell, and that's what we're expecting to see in the very early morning hours. So it's not going to be as widespread. We're going to see scattered thunderstorms, but the thunderstorms are what could lead to debris flows, flooding, especially in burn areas. Drier by later in the day, but then another chance of rain coming through Christmas. And by Sunday morning, snow levels down to 3,000 feet. So commuting in and out of the grapevine could be a little rough.